Did you read a lot of horror books or sci-fi growing up? No, I was terrible at reading. I just watched films. I would just, uh, I'd go to Blockbuster and just get like a pile of films and just watch them. I, I was never a big reader. And if I did, I would, I would read short stories. Um, it's actually a, a reason why I make like super short films because I'm one of those people who has a very short attention span. And it's really hard for me to sit down for like two hours and watch a movie without doing something else. Um, and one of my idols is um, the YouTube channel Pony Smasher. And I like love, love, love them. And I love their story. And they started out as a husband and wife team and they were just, and he does all the like BTS um, videos of how he made it. Um, and it's literally like a two minute short with like a scare. And I would just sit and watch all of them like on a playlist. And I love them and I could watch them over and over again. And I love thinking about them. I just think that's so creative. That's that's actually why I started Fear Crip because I was like, oh. I love this stuff. I am the audience for this stuff. And I know that I can be good at making this stuff. Um, so I wanted to make like a no pressure short film channel originally with horror shorts and, you know, not be like super worried about big budgets like on um, feature films. Just like no stress, just I love filmmaking. Let's make short horrors. Uh, so like, yeah. When did you start Fear Crypt? Um, I started Fear Crypt, uh, what year did I start it? I started it two years after I moved, so 2015. Um, and it was because I made uh, a short film with my husband. And I was like, I, I would like, and we had his original logo on it. I was like, I would like a horror one. I might as well put a horror film company on there, like even if I don't go any further with it. And then it was from there that I, I realized that he didn't really want to pursue horror. And he said, but that doesn't, that shouldn't ever stop you just because I don't want to. He's like, I'll teach you everything I know if that's what you want to do. Like you have to follow your dreams. And I was like, all right, I will. And then, and then I started making more and I was like, oh, I might as well have a logo. <laughs> and then, and then you just start building something. And um, like, I'm a big fan now of just, just do it, you know? Like you don't have to worry about the future of something, just do what you want to do right now. And if it's something, it'll become something. Um, and I knew Pony Smasher did it too. And I was like, oh, I, you know, they, they barely had like a crew. Um, and one thing I do right now is um, with Fear Crypt is I collaborate with filmmakers who are like um, in similar positions as me where you know, they want to make um, film content. They all have YouTube channels, but the main barrier is always like financial problems. Like, you're like, oh, well, you know, if I want to make a short film, you think, oh, I've got to raise like a few thousand and do this. And you, I realized that a lot of people are in the same position as me, where they're like, oh, if I, you know, I don't have a lot of money, but I want to, you know, make a short. So we split the budget now, which is really cool. Like I'll find like three or four people who want to make like a micro shot or a short film. And we all have production companies. We all have YouTube channels. We all want the content, but don't have like a load of money we can just throw into it. But if you split the budget, it's like not that much, you know, and um, you all get the content. You all own the, the film. Um, you're all passionate about something. They're normally all big players on set. So like one person will also be a DP that they want to produce. So like you're not worried about like, um, hiring a lot of crew because a lot of the producers, they're also big players on set. Um, so that's what I've been doing recently with my short films. Um, and it's not been like a huge financial burden because I'm doing it with people who are in like-minded positions and want to also further their careers, which is awesome. And there's a website too, and people can contact you if they want to submit. Yeah, um, uh, my I have a website too. It's just fearcrypt.com, and the YouTube channel is YouTube uh, slash fearcrypt. And we're just starting out, so um, there's not like a bunch of shots on there. I think there's maybe like seven now, um, with um, more coming. Like I'm filming one in February, one's in post production. So I can't like shoot them out as quick as like the horror channels that you know. Um, shoot like two out a week but um but eventually hopefully when i have like a hundred on there there'll be more things for people to see and i can like put them into sub genres because they're all different right now um but i'm also um i really want to do like the festival circuit now that's that was not a goal that i had when i first started but 
I would love to start doing festival films that are a slightly higher quality, um, not so much like I've made them for YouTube. Like there's a little bit more money involved. It's a little bit better quality. Um, so I'm starting that with my next short film, which will be like slightly longer. And then eventually it'll go on the channel. And these are all individuals in the Philadelphia area yeah, that, yeah, you're, yeah. that you're making these with? Wow, that's really cool. And so um, if people didn't actually make the film with you, could they also have it on your channel? Yeah, I'm super open to that. I've had, um, I've had a few people inquire about that and it wasn't something I originally thought, but yeah, like if they're, once I have enough followers and it's worthwhile for them to put it on for exposure, I would totally do that. I've, I did that with a few of my shots starting out before I had like a YouTube channel and a home for them. I was like, oh, well, this, these horror channels accept um, your shots and then they give you like a lot of exposure. And like when you first start now, you don't have that many subscribers. So unless someone searches for it, they're not going to find your work. But it's slowly growing as I put more content out there. And um, the ones that were submitted to the big horror channels, like they, they put them up and they get like, 12,000 views on the same day, which like if I put them on my own channel, like I won't get that. So, um, but now hopefully when I build a channel um, and I can put more content on there, it would be really cool. I pony smash it in. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, I saw, I really like your site too, cause you have, um, you did like a few Q and A's. Yeah, the actors. I just started doing that. Cause I know, nice. um, I know people are interested, especially on these like, um, short startups, I guess, where you're doing indie filmmaking, they want to know what you're doing because they also want to do it. And they want to know, um, like they, they want to know inside information. Sorry, it's, um, it's Alfred Hitchcock's birds. birds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I thought it would be cool. Like, it's just a, a quick interview. Um, if people want to watch the short films and they're like, Oh, I'm interested in knowing who the DP was for that and what they thought. Um, just like what you do when you go to festivals and you do the Q and A's, but it's just an easy place. Um, if you watch the content, then you can find who was involved in that. I thought it would be like a, a cool little thing. Have you ever thought of starting your own horror festival? I have. I, I oh, thought yeah. about that a lot actually. Um, but it's, I think right now, um, I don't want to get distracted from making the films, um, which I feel like I will because I'm one of those yes people right now who's like, yeah, I want to do this and this. And I find it really hard to focus on like one thing. So I'm trying not to do too much all at once. And especially because I'm in pre-pro with a short right now that like I'm really passionate about and it's going to be slightly longer. Um, I guess it's more like, it's like my graduation film from doing like short films. Um, when I compare like how I'm starting compared to like my husband who like went to film school school and he would make these short films and then he'd make one bigger thesis short film and then he was ready to do a feature film. Whereas cause I'm just starting out and I never went to film school. I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna make all these cool, like low budget shorts. And then this is, and then I'm ready to make my like longer content. You know, I feel like I've got enough experience now to make like something a bit better and then, then I'll be ready for the feature. <laughs> So how much longer is this newer film? Um, it's, it's, it's probably gonna be like 10 to 12 minutes. So not like really long, but I'm used to making like micro shots, which are like three to four pages, like three minute short horror, like Pony Smasher does where they're like really quick, you know, you, you're at lunch and you wanna watch a horror film. Um, like I love one some day gore shoots. with my sandwich. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know how it is. 